Test, test, test. Got me, Blake? Yep, I got you. Got me? Yes, sir. Perfect. And a good Friday evening and welcome to Skyler, Nebraska here on Saunders County Online. Austin McNorton and Blake Maxson here with you for all of the exciting Friday night action on the final night of the high school football regular season here in Nebraska 2023. It's a battle between the Warriors of Skyler and your number one team in Class C1, the 8-0 Warriors of Wahoo. Austin McNorton, Blake Maxson here with you on Saunders County Online. Thanks to everyone for tuning in here on this final Friday night of the regular season. And thanks to all of our sponsors who make it happen. The Warriors of Skyler, green and white, come into this season as this will be their final game of the year as they have a current record of three and five in Class C1 and currently in the standings sit at number 29. And as everyone knows, 16 of the top 16 teams in Class C1 get into the playoffs that begin next week. So this will be the final chance for the Warriors 
And this will be a, and, and you know how, how that goes, record and all things kind of throw the stats out the window at that point. When that comes into play, it's the final game of the year for Skyler. And you know these seniors and everyone here, all the fans, they know it too. And they'll be ready to go here on a Friday night for said occasion. Your Wahoo Warriors come into the game 8-0 and currently sit as the number one team in class C1 over number two seeded Boone Central in the points. Wahoo with 46.25 points. Boone Central, their season is done. They won last night on the road. Their current point standing 44.6. So Wahoo gets a win and they will be the number one team in class C1 and will host all throughout the postseason. And talking to Chad Fox and, and everyone hoping to have four more games. And we got a chance to talk to Chad Fox before the game started here tonight. And I asked him, how do you try and stay mentally focused and ready to go before tonight's game, knowing what next week brings? You're the number one team in the state. You host the playoffs, which begin next week. How do you stay mentally focused? And he told me a great story about how back in the days when Wahoo would host Bishop Newman and vice versa, Bishop Newman would play Wahoo. And there was a lot of talk, that, of course, in, in the city of Wahoo between fan bases, administrators, players, everyone saying, all right, this is a big week. This is hate week, quote, unquote, hate week between such a rivalry between the Warriors and the Cavaliers. And, and he said his team didn't treat it as that. Just another game, just another game. And that's the way they treat every single game, no matter who they're playing. Last week they're playing a team in D.C. West who's top ten in the state of Nebraska. He said that was a big game. And they just treated it as, as another game, as if they were playing Auburn back in week three. You know, it's just another game. That's the mindset they take. They take each and every week as an opportunity for them to get better, not focusing on who they're playing, what the other team's doing. They say, what are we doing? What are we doing to get successful? And, Blake, I'll go to you. That seems like a pretty successful way to win football games, wouldn't you say? Yes, it does. You know, having an in-state rivalry, quote-unquote, is really fun, you know, being able to play someone across the this- across the town and you know being different high schools you know a lot of people in that town just talking talking to uh, teammates and saying let's go beat them their hometown rival but yet it's still just another football game like every other game in this regular season and that's how the warriors are taking it tonight as well as wahoo looks to stay undefeated and end the regular season undefeated against the other Warriors here in their district and in the state of Nebraska of Skyler. Final road game of the year for Wahoo, final regular season game. We will pause momentarily as we will hear our national anthem and get you set for kickoff. You're tuned in to Warrior Football on Saunders County Online. Rivalry Apparel in Wahoo is excited to celebrate their fifth anniversary the month of October. Stop in to say hi to the Rivalry team or go to RivalryApparel.com now to get your gear for fall sports. 
South Haven Living Center in Rivalry Apparel in Wahoo is excited to celebrate their fifth anniversary the month of October. Stop in to say hi to the Rivalry team or go to RivalryApparel.com now to get your gear for fall sports. Then be on the lookout for winter sports apparel for your favorite local teams and schools. Rivalry is open Tuesdays, Thursdays 10 to 6, Wednesdays, Fridays 10 to 5, Saturdays 9 to noon. Call 402-870-0780 for any questions. The team at Rivalry Apparel wants to help you have a winning season. We are your biggest fan. South Haven Living Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care, or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out online, southhaven-wahoo.com. And welcome back to Schuyler, Nebraska here on Saunders County Online. Austin McNorton and Blake Maxson here with you for the final Friday night of the regular season. It's your undefeated number one team in Class C1, Wahoo Warriors, being hosted by the other Warriors of Schuyler. Skyler wins the opening coin toss, elects to defer to the second half, and Wahoo will take the football. Wahoo in their road, white on whites tonight, blue numbers, blue helmets, and gold trim. Skyler in their home, green uniforms, black pants, white numbers, green helmets with a white face mask, and the opening kickoff goes into the back of the end zone, and Wahoo will start out first and 10 on their own 20-yard line, and here comes out the Wahoo Warrior offense under the direction of quarterback Jace Kaminsky here. Jace in his sophomore season got the start in game number one against Pierce. After Sam Edmonds had an injury in the offseason, ex he was expected to be the quarterback coming in. He got moved to wide receiver. Jace got two incredible wins, both against two top five teams in the state. Has kept that title ever since, and the Warriors continue to roll. Opening handoff will go to the running back up the middle, Noah Bordowski, and a good gain on first down of about eight and a half, all the way up to the 28 and a half yard line. And Noah Bordowski looking at his numbers this season, now 134 carries on the year. And he now has 722 yards to his season total. And now Kaminsky's empty in the backfield. Second and two for Wahoo. Ball on their own 28 going left to right. Quick throw out to the flat. There it is. Caught out by Sam Edmonds. Makes the guy miss down the sideline. There he goes. 50, 40, 35, 30. Deep into Warrior territory for a Wahoo first down. I guess, Blake, I should say. Skyler territory, not Warrior territory, as both these teams share the yeah. same mascot. <laughs> what a play and what a catch and run by Sam Edmonds. That's his 15th reception of the season. He now has over 200 receiving yards. He has a couple touchdowns through the air as well. And it's first and 10 Wahoo, ball on their own 28-yard line. Kaminsky in the backfield with Caden Smart, Bordowski to his right. And Avery Weeding, or Josh Edmonds, I should stay directly behind him. And it balls up to Bordowski, spins off of a tackler, dives forward inside of the 20 for another Wahoo first down and a pickup of 11 on first down for Noah Bordowski. And Blake, that, that looked like the first time we've seen that formation all year, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I haven't seen that much. They had four people in the backfield, which is unusual. So it's first and 10 Wahoo. Ball on the Skyler. 20 yard line. Kaminsky in the backfield. Bordowski stands to his left. Avery Weeding goes in formation. Noah gets the handoff up the middle. He's brought down around his ankles for a short gain that time. And a good tackle made right at the line of scrimmage by Joxamar Bernal. Bernal, the five foot seven junior linebacker for Skyler, makes a tackle in the shortest gain of the night for Wahoo, a pickup of two. With 10-15 to go here in court, big play off of a catch and run from Sam Edmonds down the far sideline to get into Skyler territory. Bordowski, a 10-yard run, and then a two-yard run. 10 minutes to go, quarter number one. It's second and eight Warriors. Ball on the Skyler 16-yard line. Kaminsky's empty in the backfield with two wide receivers to either side. Now Noah comes across the formation. Jace will take the snap, roll to his right, looking to throw, and will throw to the end zone, and it's caught! Touchdown, Warriors! Two. Pass is caught nicely by number two, Landon Fye. Heck of a throw and catch 
by the Warriors. And with 9.46 to go here in quarter number one, the Warriors take an early 6-0 lead after an 80-yard touchdown drive in seven plays. How about that start, Blake? Great start. Moving down the field easily. We have seen Jace Kaminsky. He looks so good against D.C. West in that type of play, rolling out to his right and making the throw, and that was perfectly in the end zone to land and fly for the touchdown. Now comes out Zaragoza for the extra point. Hold is down. Point is up, and it is good. That was Avery Weedy. Go in quarter number one, and the Warriors take an early 7-0 lead. You're tuned in to Warrior Football on Saunders County Online, and we'll be right back. Stop at First Bank of Nebraska to get our new Wahoo Warrior branded debit card. Every transaction gives back to Wahoo Public Schools. All you need is a First Bank of Nebraska checking account and ask for the Warrior card. For more information, go to firstbanknne.com. First Bank of Nebraska, serving our communities, investing in you. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. And welcome back to Saunders County Online. Austin McNaughton and Blake Maxson here with you for Wahoo Warrior Football on the final game of the regular season. Wahoo takes their opening drive 80 yards on our touchdown pass from Jace Kaminsky, his 10th touchdown pass of the season to Landon Fye in the back of the end zone. And now Wahoo will punt it away left to right as Skyler will receive the kickoff and have their opening drive of the ball game. It's kicked here to the near side. It will take a bounce and stay in play just inside of the 20. Picked up and taken to about the 25-yard line before Josh Edmond brings down the carrier with the ball that time. It was number 45, and I think that's Matthew Gibbons. I, actually, I think it's Alex Lopez. I have two 42s on my roster. I think that's Alex Lopez, the freshman. So, 941. So 9.41 to go here in quarter number one. It's Wahoo 7, Skyler 0. First and 10 for Skyler. Ball on their own 25-yard line going right to left. Under center, the ball's handed, faked the handoff, taken to the outside for not much. On the carry that time was the quarterback, Daniel Maiz. He takes it here to the near side for a pickup of three. It's second and seven up to the 28-yard line with 9.25 to go here in this first quarter. Try to bounce to the outside, and now an injury as down on the field is Maiz, and oh boy, you hope he's okay. He seems to be coming off on his own power. Just maybe got the wind knocked out of him. You know, is because you know how much of an important player he is for the Skyler Warriors. He gained about three up to the 28-yard line. 9:08 to go, quarter number one. It's a seven-to-zero Wahoo lead. And now the quarterback standing back there is Luis Ginchi, number five. He's awaiting the snap. The running back to his left, looking to throw, has a lot of time. Now under pressure, he's sacked. Back near the original line of scrimmage, back there, the first warrior that I saw was it looked like number, I'm trying to see if it's 50, yep, it looks like it's number 58 for Wahoo, and that is... Luke Speck, yeah, good call, Blake. Yeah, I have, 50, I have 53 on my roster, which is wrong. It's 58, not 53. A loss that time of about five. It's third and 12 for Skyler. Now back on their own 23-yard line with 8.20 to go. Here in quarter number one, Wahoo leads it 7-0. to Quarterback back to throw, has time, and throws it deep down the field, and it's batted away. Great coverage downfield by Wahoo. Sam Edmonds batted away, but Avery Weeding was also right there with the wide receiver for Skyler. That pass was intended for number eight, or yeah, number six, Rico Rodriguez here on the near side, and Avery Weeding was step for step with him, and Wahoo forces a three and out as Skyler's opening drive is a loss of two yards in net total. Wahoo went 80 yards and a touchdown on their opening drive. So here's the punt, good snap. Good punt into the night sky, and it's caught at the 40-yard line by Caden Smart. There goes Smart down the far side, 45-50, 45-40, 
35, and there he steps out of bounds inside of the Skyler 35-yard line right at the 34. A good punt return for Caden Smart. He already has a punt return for a touchdown this season. And there's the third aspect of the game, Blake, coming into play, the Warriors special teams unit, which has been so dominant all season long. Yeah, this Warriors special teams is really aggressive. They, want, they make big plays when it matters. So it's first and 10 Wahoo. Ball on the Skyler 34-yard line with 7.56 to go here in quarter number one. And Wahoo already with a 7-0 lead. Here's this bunch formation in the backfield with four guy, three guys and Jace Kaminsky. Kaminsky will hand it off to Caden Smart off to the right side, and he gets tripped up just shy of the 30. And a nice tackle made there by number four for Skyler around the ankles was Ray Zastera. The five foot eight sophomore makes a tackle just shy of the 30, but a good pickup of five yards that time for Caden Smart. That's his 21st carry of the season. Now has 158 yards to his season total. He also has two rushing touchdowns. 7.27 to go, quarter number one. It's Wahoo seven, Skyler zero. Second and six Warriors. Ball on the Skyler 31-yard line. Kaminsky in the backfield, fakes the handoff, looks to throw across the middle, and does. Deep, wide open, and walks into the end zone untouched. That's Caden Smart's first touchdown reception of the year. His sixth reception of the season, first for a touchdown. He now has over 150 yards receiving along with his rushing totals, and that, that, that drive, two plays, 35 yards, both of them from Caden Smart. 7.13 to go, quarter number one, and back comes out Avery Weenie for the point after attempt. Snap good, hold better. On the way, it is true. 7.13 to go in quarter number one. It's Wahoo 14, Skyler 0. You're tuned in to Wahoo Warrior Football on Saunders County Online, and we will be right back. Hot Oil and Propane is continuing to be family-run and owned for 60 years. OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at OOPIncWahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years, thanks to you. Stop at First Bank of Nebraska to get our new Wahoo Warrior brand. Awesome, McNorton and Blake Maxson here back with you live on Saunders County Online for Wahoo Warrior Football. Thanks to everyone for tuning in. Thanks to all of our sponsors for making it happen. 7.13 to go here in quarter number one. It's Wahoo 14, Skyler 0. After the Warriors, both of their times they've touched the football here in quarter number one, they've scored touchdowns. Kickoff here to the near sideline and nearly slipping through that time for a big, big return for the Skyler Warriors was once again Matthew Gibbons. He nearly took that to the house. Wahoo gave up a touchdown return off of a kickoff last week to D.C. West. But Wahoo leads it 14-0 with 7-10 to go here in quarter number one. After the Warriors go seven plays, 80 yards in drive number one, and then they go two plays, 35 yards in drive number two to lead 14 to zero. So it's first and 10 Skyler, ball on their own 31 yard line, their first drive. They went three and out and lost two yards, but great to see quarterback Daniel Maiz back out there for Skyler. He's under center, takes the snap, pitches it out to the flat. It's a throw and they will throw it deep down the field to a wide open target into Wahoo territory inside the 45 yard line. The catch was made by Jesus Hernandez. Off of a pitch, almost like a flea flicker, but not. The quarterback pitched it out to the running back, Kelvin Escobar, who then threw it deep down the field to Jesus Hernandez. And Skyler has a big first down all the way up to the Wahoo 40 yard line. 6.50 to go, quarter number one. It's Wahoo 14, Skyler zero, but the Skyler Warriors moving. As they took the ball up the middle, the ball's on the ground. Wahoo might have it. They do. The Warriors get the fumble recovery as, as Luke Specht come up with it. And oh boy, after a monster play for Skyler, the very next play, they fumble it, and Wahoo has a takeaway. That's their fourth fumble recovery of the year. Their 12th takeaway this season and boy, that hurts Skyler as now you give 
the football right back to a very elite Wahoo offense. It's first and 10 Wahoo, ball on their own 41 yard line. Going left to right, Kaminsky in the backfield with Kip Brigham standing to his left. Jace takes the snap, Kip gets the handoff off to the right side. Big hole for Brigham, 50, oh he just about scored. An ankle saving touchdown tackle made past the 50 yard line by, looked like Jesus Hernandez again. Oh boy, Kip Brigham just about housed it. But it's a big first down for Wahoo up to the Skyler 46 yard line. 6.25 to go here in this first quarter and Wahoo already leading it 14 to zero. Boy, Blake, that was close. Very close, Get tripped up in the ankle. He is so quick and so elite. Here's Kaminsky in the backfield. Sends Edmonds in formation. Jace will hand it off the middle of the board. Kip Brigham again, who bounces it to the outside inside of the 30, 45 before he's brought down by his ankles over on the far side by number 25, Jesus Morales. I was actually Jason Ramon. Yep, sorry about that. I saw, I saw, I thought it was 25 and not 20. It was Jason Ramon on the tackle, the five foot two senior. I'm a 543 to go here in quarter number one. Wahoo leads it 14 to zero, second and eight. Ball on the Skyler 44 yard line. Brigham stands to the right of Kaminsky in the backfield with a wide receiver here to the near side and smart to the left. Jace takes the snap looking to throw, roll into his right. He'll throw it deep down the sideline, it's caught! What a catch, oh they say it's not. He was juggling it, says the wide receiver. Oh man, that was almost a heck of a catch made on the near side, I believe it was by Josh Edmonds. Yes, it was. Josh Edmonds just about had an incredible catch here on the near sideline, but the official said he was juggling it here on the sideline. And so it goes down as an incompletion, and that brings up third and eight now for Wahoo. Their first third down of the game. Ball on the Skyler 44-yard line with 5.24 to go. Kaminsky in the backfield, weeding rolls across. Brigham will get the ball off to the left side, cuts it back to the inside, it gets the first down down the far sideline. He's gonna score! Touchdown, Warriors! Kip Brigham turned nothing into a 44-yard touchdown. Unbelievable run by Kip Brigham. He takes it all the way down the far sideline after a couple of nice juke moves into the end zone, and once again, Blake, he didn't get touched. Nope. He's just, he's just has such fast acceleration and off he goes on the outside. 5.13 to go here in quarter number one and Wahoo has had the ball three times and has scored three touchdowns. Weeding for the extra point. On the way and that one was crushed and it is good. 5.13 to go here in quarter number one. Three drives for Wahoo, three touchdowns. They lead it 21 to zero. You're tuned into Warrior Football in Saunders County Online. The best deal in town is at the Wahoo DQ. Our $7 meal deals run all day, every day. For only $7, you get your choice of an original cheeseburger or a three-piece basket. Each option includes a regular order of fries, a medium drink, and a small sundae. Feeling hungrier? Upgrade that Sunday to a small blizzard for an extra $2. The Wahoo DQ is located at 1122 North Chestnut Street and open 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Sunday through Thursday. And then on Fridays and Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Welcome back to Skyler, Nebraska. Austin McNorton and Blake Maxson here with you on Saunders County Online for Wahoo Warrior Football. 5.13 to go here in quarter number one. Wahoo has had the ball three times and scored three touchdowns to lead it. 21-0 to zero after the fumble from Skyler on the Wahoo 40-yard line. The Warriors take it. 58, 59-yard touchdown drive. Off of a third and eight run from Kip Brigham, 44 yards into the end zone. Wahoo will kick it to the far side of the field now. Watch it roll to about the 15 yard line before it's picked up and blown up immediately. Right just past the 20 yard line that time on the return. It looked like, I'm trying to see who the number was. I, I thought I saw three. I do see a three, but I do not have a three on my roster. So number three on the return. <laughs> And he takes it up to the 20. Skyler will start their third drive of the first quarter. 5.08 to go in the quarter. 
and Wahoo leading it 21 to zero. So in the shotgun this time is Mayes, the quarterback, with his running back, Jaime Mar Mar Marquez, standing to his right. Mayes takes the high snap. Marquez gets the handoff up the middle and doesn't get much before he's tackled immediately right in the heart of the Warrior defense by number 54. James Gaskins makes the tackle, the 5'10", 170-pound junior after a t gain of about three yards up to the 23-yard line with 4.45 to go. Four thirty-five to go here, quarter number one. It's Wahoo 21, Skyler 0. It's second and seven, Skyler. Ball on their own 23-yard line. Maiz under center, takes the snap, pitches it out here to the flat, trying to get to the sideline, but can't. Heck of a tackle made by Caden Smart on the ball carrier, Kelvin Escobar, as he tried to bounce to the sideline. But, boy, Blake, how about that speed from Caden Smart? He shows it in all of his aspects. He's very quick. Very, very quick. Though he gains about, he lost about a yard actually. So it's third and eight now for Skyler with the ball on their own 22 yard line with 347 to go here in this first quarter and Wahoo leading it 21 to zero. Maiz in the backfield. The back behind him takes the high snap, looks it to throw deep down the field, has a wide receiver and it's just behind him. Boy, it was a good route run on that far sideline by Rico Rodriguez. The pass was just a hair behind him. It goes to the sideline incomplete, and it's another three and out for Skyler, and Wahoo will get the football back with 3.34 to go here in this first quarter, leading it 21-0. Just not on the same page that time. He had time to throw it. His wide receiver, Rico Rodriguez, had a step. It's a good punt into the night sky. Caught at the 40-yard line by Caden Smart. He'll take it to the far sideline, up the middle, breaks through two tacklers into Skyler territory, down the far sideline. There goes Caden Smart. 20, 15, 10, 5, Warrior touchdown. A punt return for Caden Smart, his second of the year. And what a, what a, oh, my who. Caden Smart, a 60-yard punt return for Wahoo. 7-0 with 3.16 to go here in quarter number one. Wow. Caden Smart just broke through two tacklers at about the 50-yard line, and then nobody touched him after that. How about these Wahoo Warriors? Weeding again will come out for his fourth extra point in four, not even four drives. It's on the way, and it is good again. 3.16 to go here in quarter number one, and Wahoo capitalizes off to the 60-yard punt return from Caden Smart to lead it 28-0. You're tuned in to Wahoo Warrior Football on Saunders County Online, and we will be right back. Rivalry Apparel in Wahoo is excited to celebrate their fifth anniversary the month of October. Stop in to say hi to the Rivalry team or go to RivalryApparel.com now to get your gear for fall sports. Then be on the lookout for winter sports apparel for your favorite local teams and schools. Rivalry is open Tuesdays, Thursdays 10 to 6, Wednesdays, Fridays 10 to 5, Saturdays 9 to noon. Call 402-870-0780 for any questions. The team at Rivalry Apparel wants to help you have a winning season. We are your biggest fan.
Welcome back to Skyler, Nebraska here on Saunders County Online. Austin McNorton and Blake Maxson here with you for the final Friday night of the regular season. And with 3.16 to go here in quarter number one, Wahoo leads it 28-0. The Wahoo Warriors have had an 80-yard touchdown drive, a 35-yard touchdown drive, a 60-yard touchdown drive, and then a 60-yard punt return. That's what just happened for Caden Smart, his second punt return of the year. And Wahoo leads it 28-0 with 3.16 to go here in quarter number one. And back come out the Warriors of Skyler down the far sideline on the fourth kick return of the opening quarter for Matthew Gibbons. And he takes it past the 30. And this will be, I believe, the best opening field position for Skyler here in this first quarter. I was going to say first half, but here we are in the first quarter. 3-11 to go. Skyler has it. First and 10. Ball on their own 32-yard line is where they officially will spot it. Where Maiz will be under center for Skyler in the I formation. Now two more backs come back there. So three backs behind him. And he'll keep it himself off here to the right side. Trying to use some blockers and does. Gets to the sideline before he's thrown down right on the sideline. Trying to see who made that tackle. Looked like Sam Edmonds was the one who eventually brought him down. Sam just made his 34th tackle of the season after a gain of one yard that time by Daniel Maiz. It's second and nine for Skyler. Ball on the 33-yard line with 2.43 to go here in quarter number one and Wahoo leading it 28-0. to zero. Skyler under center again in the exact same formation. Maiz will hand it off. It's a flea flicker play. Maiz is under pressure, throws it. It's picked just past the 50-yard line. And then ripped down at the 46. The Warriors have their first turnover of the night as Sam Edmonds just got his fourth interception of the year. Blake, the flea flicker didn't fool Wahoo that time at all. No, it didn't. They got to the backfield quick and made him throw it up. And right into the Sam Edmonds' hands. Eli Shana was back there and hit my ease right when he threw it. And Sam Edmonds was sitting there waiting right at the 50-yard line for a pick. And Wahoo will have the football for the fifth time already in this first quarter. First and 10, Wahoo, ball on the Skyler 47-yard line. Kaminsky in the backfield. Bordowski looking to throw. Now will run it here to the nearest sideline. Gets to the 40 and steps out of bounds near the 35, which should be good enough for a first down. But boy, Blake, that was the first time all season we've looked at Noah Bordowski looking to throw. Yeah, they don't do that much often. They let usually Kaminsky roll out and throw, but not usually Noah Bordowski. Well, Noah took it to the sideline. He was looking to throw, but with his speed, he says, I can run it, and does. It gets 11 yards, and it's first and 10 Wahoo. Ball on the Skyler just inside of the 35-yard line. The clock does stop as Noah went out of bounds with 2.09 to go here in this first quarter. Kaminsky takes the snap, hands it off to Landon Fye off to the far side. 35-30, 25-20, steps away from a tackle, 10. He's still in bounds, down near the five. Boy, these Warriors just keep juking and jiving and somehow staying in bounds down the far sideline again. And that time Landon Fye with a big time rush of about 33 yards as he takes it all the way up to the Skyler six yard line. 1.57 to go here in this first quarter. Wahoo 28, Skyler 0. It's first and goal, Wahoo. Ball on the Skyler 6. And what a drive already here for Wahoo. Clock starts. Well, now stops. Now starts. 1.50 to go, and Wahoo breaks out of the huddle. Kaminsky has, I think it's, yep, Noah standing to his right. Kaminsky takes the snap, and it's a double handoff to Caden Smart, who steps into the end zone. Touchdown, Warriors, with 97 seconds to go in the first quarter. Wahoo already leads it 34-0. to 
as Caden Smart has his third touchdown of the quarter in three different ways. He has a rushing touchdown, a receiving touchdown, and a punt return. How about Caden Smart? And here comes Avery weeding out after attempt. Kaminsky gets the high snap, puts it down. It's on the way, and it is no good that time. Just missed it to the left. 97 seconds to go here in quarter number one. It's Wahoo 34, Skyler 0. You're tuned into Warrior Football on Saunders County Online, and we'll be right back. Awesome, ignoring and Blake Maxson here back with you on Saunders County Online as Wahoo with 132 to go here in quarter number one lead the Warriors of Schuyler 34 to zero. Thanks to everyone for tuning in to Saunders County Online here on this final Friday night of the regular season. And thanks to all of our sponsors for making it happen. Austin McNorton and Blake Maxson here with you. Your eight and Warriors have had the ball four times and have scored four touchdowns and Caden Smart has a punt return for a touchdown as he has a receiving touchdown, a rushing touchdown and a punt return touchdown. 128 to go here in quarter number one. It's Wahoo 34, Skyler zero and it's first and 10 for Skyler with the ball on their own 11 yard line after a mishandle on the kickoff return. And then a handoff up the middle for not much that time. On the carry of the football was Jaime Marquez. He takes it back to the line of scrimmage, but that is it. But Blake, what a dominant quarter here for Wahoo, my goodness. Yep, they're going after it, getting as many points as they can. So here we go. We have now officially hit 60 seconds left here in this first quarter. Wahoo leading it 34 to zero. It's second and 10 Skyler with the ball on their own 11. Under center. Taking the snap, handoff up the middle, doesn't go much that time as Kelvin Escobar falls forward for a gain of about four. A good run that time on second down as he takes it up to the 14 yard line. And that might be the final play of the first quarter. We'll have to see if Skyler will have to snap it again as it will be third and seven here for Skyler and Blake with that, we know how good Wahoo's punt return team is and well, they're punt blocking and well, just special teams in general. If you're Skyler, you don't wanna have to punt it from your own end zone. So this is a pretty important third down play coming up next, but they will hold that play until quarter number two starts. So after 12 minutes of football, it's Wahoo 34 and Skyler Zero, you're tuned in to Wahoo Warrior Football in Saunders County Online, and we will be right back. South Haven Living Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out online. South Haven dash wahoo.com stop at first bank of nebraska to get our new wahoo warrior branded debit card every transaction gives back to wahoo public schools all you need is a first bank of nebraska checking account and ask for the warrior card for more information go to firstbankne.com first bank of nebraska serving our communities investing in you member fdic and equal housing lender 
Wahoo State Bank gives you the home team advantage. From the beginning of your financial experience with Penny Partners, Kids Club with Richie Rover, to student checking for those age 15 through 25, offering a variety of benefits that make banking easy when you're home or away, or if you're looking to finance the future home. Wahoo State Bank has the home team to work with you through life. Member FDIC. Awesome, McNorton and Blake Maxson here back with you on Saunders County Online for Wahoo Warrior Football. Quarter number two has begun. It's Wahoo 34, Skyler 0. Third and seven for Skyler. Start to quarter number two. And a pass goes off of one receiver into another for a Skyler first down. Well, that was a big play that the Warriors needed, and they got it as the pat was completed to Andy Mateo as it bounced off of his teammates' hands, fell into his hands, and, boy, it seemed like Skyler needed a play like that to happen, and it did as they got out of the shadow of their own end zone, if nothing else. 11.40 to go here in the first half. Wahoo 34, Skyler 0, throwing again, this time to the far sideline, and blown up in the backfield immediately. Several different Warriors there to make the play. First guy I saw back there was Alex Borchers on that far sideline, a loss of one on the completed pass. It's second and 11, Skyler. Ball on their own 30-yard line after a loss of two, I should say. Ball's placed on the 30-yard line with 11-10 to go here in quarter number two and Wahoo leading it 34-0. Austin McNorton and Blake Maxson here with you as Skyler trying to make something happen. They've been in Wahoo territory once off of a big pass play, but then the very next play after, they fumbled it. So trying to keep a sustained drive here now as the ball's handed up the middle for not much of that time. As back there to make the tackle for Wahoo was Braylon Iverson as he makes the tackle right at about the line of scrimmage that time on Escobar to bring up another third and long situation here for the Warriors of Skyler. 10.30 to go here in quarter number two. Wahoo leading it 34-0. It is third and 11. Back to pass. Throwing to the sideline way over the head of his intended target down on the far sideline. That time he was looking for number 91 Guerrero on that far sideline. It goes incomplete, and now Skyler will have to punt it away. But importantly, they got it out of their own end zone. I, I think that was an important first down for Skyler. That's their second first down of the night. But just haven't been able to do anything with it after getting the first down. So 10-13 to go here in quarter number two, and Wahoo leads it 34-0. to And the Wahoo punt return team will come back out. They've already scored one touchdown here tonight, and this punt is probably pretty wisely kicked out of bounds. Blake, they uh, didn't want to kick it to Kip Brigham or Caden Smart at all that time, so they said, we're just going to kick it to the Warrior bench players. Yep, don't want them to have a big return like the last few times. The ball is spotted at the Skyler, uh, the Wahoo 49-yard line. Couldn't tell. Well, they might put it right on the 50. They do. It goes right at the 50-yard line is where the official will spot it down. And then Wahoo trying to go up even more, leading it 34-0 with 10.07 to go here in quarter number two. It still is Kaminsky out there. Kip Brigham stands to his left, a wide receiver to either side and a tight end to the right. Kaminsky sends Avery Weeding in motion. Jace takes the snap. Kip gets the handoff off to the right side, following his blockers forward before he's brought down from behind off of a nice tackle made by Ray Zastera. A gain of about two into Skyler territory up to the Skyler 48-yard line. I have to keep saying Skyler or Wahoo because both of these mascots are the Warriors. So 9.45 to go here in quarter number two. Wahoo second and eight on the Skyler 48-yard line. This game getting dangerously close to being even more blown open. Last time these two teams met last season in Wahoo, Wahoo defeated Skyler 68-0. And now here's that bunch formation in the backfield with three backs with Jace Kaminsky. Now Jace takes the handoff, fakes it, now pitches it out to the flat in the backfield, and it's taken for a Wahoo forced down, first down, past the Skyler 35-yard line on the carry that time for Wahoo. 
And that was Sam Edmonds back there in the backfield. It's the first time we've really seen Sam Edmonds in kind of that option play. Normally it's Bordowski, but Sam gets the pitch into the backfield, picks up a Warrior first down, and the drive stays alive. Nine minutes exactly to go here in the second quarter. It's first and 10 Wahoo with the ball on the Skyler 34-yard line. Kaminsky empty in the backfield, now sends Josh Edmonds in motion. Now it's a shovel pass into the middle of the line of scrimmage, and it tackled instantly was Kip Brigham for a loss of about a half of a yard. So Wahoo's kind of opening up the playbook, playbook here tonight. Just showing off a little bit of everything. Some plays that we haven't seen, plays that we've seen only sparingly throughout the course of the season, but so far everything has worked pretty decently well, and keeping the defense on your toes is one thing Wahoo has done extremely well here tonight. And Caden Smart, Caden Smart has scored three times in three different ways. Wahoo leads it 34 to zero. It's second and 10 Warriors. Ball on their Skyler 34 yard line. Ball carrier cuts it up field and taken up near the first down marker, maybe about a yard shy that time. On the carry was again Kip Brigham. As he takes it about, uh, about a yard shy, they spot it right at the 25 yard line. Needs the 24 to keep the drive alive. So it's third and one. This is only the second third down of the game that Wahoo has had tonight. The last time they had a third down, Kip Brigham had a 44 yard touchdown. Third and one Wahoo, ball on the Skyler 24 yard line. Jace fakes the handoff, he'll pitch it out to Sam Edmonds and he'll take it down the sideline and step out of bounds for a Wahoo first down. Second time on this drive that Sam Edmonds has been in the option formation and gotten the pitch for a Warrior first down. Eight minutes to go here in quarter number two. It's Wahoo 34, Skyler zero. Thanks everyone for tuning in tonight on Saunders County Online for the final game of the regular season. It's first and 10 Warriors, ball on the Skyler 20 yard line. Wahoo in the road, whites tonight. Skyler in their home greens with black pants. This is the final game of the year for Skyler. Wahoo hopes to have several more. Kaminsky in the backfield. Brigham stands to his left. Jace fakes the handoff, rolls out to his left, looking to throw. Has a wide receiver in the end zone. Elects to throw it short, and it's incomplete as the pass goes in and out of the hands of Eli Shada. It's honestly the first time, Blake, that I think that Wahoo has thrown the ball to Eli Shada. I believe so, because our starting tight end, Barrett LaValle, is out this week. Yeah, yeah, good call, good call, Blake. Yeah, so Barrett LaValle out with an illness. He didn't make the trip here tonight. So Eli Shada gets the pass thrown to him. It falls incomplete, and 7.54 to go here in the second quarter. It's Wahoo second and 10, ball on the scout. Kaminsky in the backfield, hands it off. It's a double handoff up the middle this time. And there goes, looked like Braylon Iverson on the carry that time. As he takes it up near the five yard line, it was Braylon Iverson on the carry that time. Haven't called his name a lot in terms of running the football, but looked pretty great that time. It's another Warrior first down. Clock runs 7.40 to go here in the second quarter. And Wahoo has it first and goal on the Skyler five yard line. Several different Warriors getting involved here on this drive. As Kaminsky in the backfield, the snap first and goal on the five. Jace takes the snap, rolls out to his left and will throw for a touchdown. Touchdown Warriors, right in the corner of the end zone. The catch is made by Josh Edmonds, his seventh catch of the season and his first touchdown. He now has 66 yards to his season total, seven catches, one touchdown, and Wahoo with 7.17 to go here in quarter number one, or number two, I should say, lead 40 to zero. And now the Warriors will come out with the point after attempt from Avery Weeding again. He missed his last one, so he's pretty effective. Oh, the snap is fumbled, and it will be no good as Avery was able to get a leg on it, but no good as Jace Kaminsky couldn't get the snap down perfectly. And so 
Your score with 7.17 to go here in the first half. It's Wahoo 40, Skyler 0. You're tuned in to Wahoo Warrior Football on Saunders County Online, and we will be right back. Hot Oil and Propane is continuing to be family-run and owned for 60 years. OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at OOPIncWahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years, thanks to you. Awesome McNorton and Blake Maxson here back with you on Saunders County Online for Wahoo Warrior Football. 7.17 to go in quarter number two. It's Wahoo 40, Skyler 0. As the Warriors capitalize again, this time on a five-yard touchdown pass from Jace Kaminsky to Josh Edmonds, who has his first touchdown reception of the year. So Wahoo will kick it away, this time right to left, and the catch is made right at the 15-yard line and taken to the near side and brought down just shy of the 40-yard line on a good return that time from Matthew Gibbons. And that's one of the first time the Skyler Warrior fans have had something to cheer about. That was a great kick return that time as he takes it up to the 38-yard line. And with 7-10 to go here in the second quarter, Wahoo leads it 40-0. to zero. And the question now becomes, can Skyler get into a rhythm offensively? And you've had two first downs tonight, and both of those first downs have been off of pretty incredible plays, but you just haven't been able to sustain anything afterwards. So but back comes out the Skyler offense under Daniel Maiz. He's under center and hands it up the middle to the big fella. And that looked like it was number 50, John Martinez, maybe. Ball number 50. It is John Martinez back there. He's listed on my roster as an offensive lineman. He's a five foot seven, 145 pound freshman. Makes a three yard run up to the Oh, yes, right. Thank you so much. Yes. So, actually, on the roster, there was a change. Number 50 is actually Luis Carrera. That makes a little bit more sense. He's still listed as an offensive lineman, though. However, he's five foot seven, 230 pounds, and a senior. He, yeah, 230 seems a little bit more fitting than a 145, wouldn't you say, Blake? Yeah. <laughs> but how about that? Listed as an offensive lineman on my roster, Luis Carrera. Five foot seven, 230 pounds, got the carry. Gain of three, another gain of two. 607 to go here in quarter number two. It's Wahoo 40, Skyler zero. It's third and five for Skyler with the ball on their own 44 yard line. Maiz is in the backfield this time, awaiting the snap. Now looks to his sideline for the official play call with a couple of backs behind him. Play gets changed. He has to hurry. Boy, he has to change it a couple of times now, and now we're getting to a timeout. Yep. He looked to his sideline two different times. The play, I think, got changed two different times. A lot of miscommunication, and the clock will stop. 5.42 to go here in quarter number two with Wahoo 40, Skyler 0. You're tuned into Wahoo Football on Saunders County Online, and we will be right back. The best deal in town is at the Wahoo DQ. Our $7 meal deals run all day, every day. For only $7, you get your choice of an original cheeseburger or a three-piece chicken strip basket. Each option includes a regular order of fries, a medium drink, and a small sundae. Feeling hungrier? Upgrade that Sunday to a small blizzard for an extra $2. The Wahoo DQ is located at 1122 North Chestnut Street and open 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Sunday through Thursday. And then on Fridays and Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Awesome McNorton and Blake Maxson here back with you on Saunders County Online for Wahoo Warrior Football. 5.42 to go in quarter number two. It's Wahoo 40, Skyler zero. It's third and five for Skyler with the ball on their own 44-yard line. 
quarterback out there for Skyler is Luis Ginchy. He takes the high snap and has time to throw and does towards the sideline and goes incomplete. Pass was intended here to the near side to his wide receiver, Jesus Hernandez. It goes over his head and really good coverage here on the near side by Wahoo's number seven, Caden Christen. The sophomore, good coverage downfield, forces another Skyler punt. 5.37 to go here in the second quarter. Wahoo leads it 40-0. to zero. And Kip Brigham and Caden Smart are back out to receive another punt. And you wonder if this one will be kicked to him at all. The last one was kicked directly to the sideline. It's a fake. Skyler's faking it. Has a lot of room to run down the far sideline. They get it. Skyler on the fake punt keeps the drive alive. What a nice run made on that far sideline by Ant. It looked like Andy Mateo, number 88, the five foot three freshman. Or no, that's Cruz. Sorry, Cruz, number 88, Cruz. On the fake punt, Skyler has their third first down of the night and keeps the drive alive. What a big play that was. No one saw that coming, Blake. No one. Trick play and it worked. Had a lot of room to run. He was able to get to the sideline and get a first down into Wahoo territory. It's first and 10 Skyler, ball on the Wahoo 43. Ball handed up the middle this time and going nowhere that time. He was hit in the backfield, a loss of two. Back to the 45 yard line. It's second and 12 with 5.10 to go here in the second quarter. So we will have a running clock as of right now in the second half unless Skyler is able to put points up here on this drive with five minutes to go in the half and Wahoo leading it 40 to zero. Wahoo has scored every time they've touched the football including a 60 yard punt return. So my ease now new quarterback is Luis Ginchy comes out he'll come under center. Luis dropped the handoff picked it back up lost it again it's still loose and the Warriors have it. Yes, Wahoo has just recovered their second fumble of the night as that time the Warriors number 13, Sam Markson, comes up with the fumble recovery as it's picked up on the Skyler 48-yard line and a Wahoo first down. Boy, Blake, that ball bounced on the turf for so long. Yeah, the quarterback dropped it and he picked it up and then he fumbled it again. Oh, my gosh, it just stayed on the ground for so long and out of nowhere got his hands on it. I honestly almost thought the officials blew it dead early because I thought the officials thought that Skyler had it before they did, and I thought so too, and then it continued to stay loose. As you know, football is just bouncing crazy ways. So Wahoo has it first and 10 on their own 48-yard line, leading 40-0. to zero. And it's a double handoff again, and Avery Weeding has to try and make something happen out of nothing. A flag is thrown the first of the night as Weeding gains one yard up to the 50. And I think, yeah, it's a hold against Wahoo. It was a double handoff, but it was handed off so deep in the backfield. And Wahoo, that is now their 43rd penalty of the season. They now have 306 penalty yards this year. There's been one issue with Wahoo, and there haven't been there hasn't been many, so you're kind of nitpicking at this point. Wahoo's 8-0 has been absolutely dominant. But 43 penalties is something you know Chad Fox probably's had at quite a bit. So 427 to go here in this second quarter. Wahoo leads it 40 to 0. Kaminsky takes the snap, throws it out to the flat, and it's caught down the far sideline and getting back to the original line of scrimmage. And a little bit more that time was Sam Edmonds as he gets up past the 50 to the Skyler 49 yard line and a pick that time on first down. So a good job for Wahoo to get all the penalty. Four minutes to go here in quarter number two. It's Wahoo 40, Skyler zero. Second and eight Warriors ball on the Skyler 49 yard line. Kaminsky in the backfield, Bordowski stands to his left. Sam Markson goes sprinting across the formation. Kaminsky on the option play, keeps it himself, tries to juke out of some tackles, but can't. As tackled immediately, Luis Carrera makes the tackle on Kaminsky right at the line of scrimmage, and it's third and long for Wahoo. Their third, third down of the night. The last time they had it third and eight, Kip Brigham had a touchdown run. 
Now Wahoos backed up at the 50 with 318 to go here in the half, leading 40-0. It's third and eight for Wahoo. Kaminsky in the backfield, sends Avery Weeding in the backfield. Bordowski will get the handoff up the middle. Noah fights forward near the first down mark. He'll be about a yard shy as he gets to the 43-yard line, needs the 42. It will be fourth and one for Wahoo now. Well, let's say fourth and two. They spotted it actually at the 44, not the 43. So Wahoo will have it fourth and two. Mm, and I would be willing to bet with how effective Wahoo's been offensively tonight that going for it here. Fourth and two for Wahoo. Ball on the Skyler 44. Big play here for Skyler. Handed up the middle to Bordowski, and he has the first down and more. There goes Noah and more. Just when you think he had Noah Bordowski wrapped up at the line of scrimmage, he busts you for 30 more and has the Warriors first and goal again. Boy, Blake, that is special. He has been so spectacular to watch all season long. Yes, he has. He's a very, very great runner. 2-12 to go here in this first half. Wahoo knocking on the door again. They lead it 40-0. to zero. It's first and goal for Wahoo. Ball on the six. Up the middle, spinning out of a tackle. Touchdown, Warriors. Into the end zone again for the fourth time tonight. Oh, that was Noah that time. I thought it was Caden Smart. I got ahead of myself. That's Noah Bordowski on the carry that time for Wahoo. And the Warriors lead it again as they now lead it 46-0 to zero with two minutes to go here in this first half. <laughs> Excuse me. But Noah, how about that drive for Noah Bordowski? He had the big run on third down, on fourth down, and then on first and goal. The point after this time is good from Ahu with two minutes exactly remaining in the first half. Lead the Warriors of Skyler 47 to zero. You're tuned in to Wahoo Warrior Football on Saunders County Online, and we will be right back. Ott Oil & Propane is continuing to be family-run and owned for 60 years. OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at oopincwahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years, thanks to you. And welcome back to Skyler, Nebraska here on a Friday night. Austin McNorton and Blake Maxson here with you for Saunders County Online. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Thanks to all of our sponsors who make it happen. As with two minutes to go here in this first half, Wahoo running away with it. They lead the Warriors of Skyler 47 to zero. As the Warriors take the fumble recovery and capitalize on a 52 yard touchdown drive capped off by a six yard touchdown run from Noah Borowski. Ball is cut here on the kick return for Skyler and taking it past the 30 to about the 32 yard line that time was Matthew Gibbons. And a minute 53 to go here in quarter number two. Wahoo leads it 47 to zero. And Skyler trying to get back into that. Their last drive, they kept their drive going into Warrior territory with a fake punt. And then they play, maybe can carry some momentum. They've had a turnover. So can they keep a sustaining drive going into the halftime locker room? They will get the ball to start the third quarter with a running clock. And you'd love to go into the locker room with a little bit of momentum. As Maiz comes out at quarterback in the backfield with Ray Zastera standing right next to him in the backfield. First and 10, Skyler on their own 31, right hash. Maiz takes the snap, Zastera gets the handoff off to the left side and he's hit instantly at the line of scrimmage by several different Warriors. The first one that I saw back there for Wahoo was Harrison Krieger. Just a gain of one that time for Zastera on his first handoff. The 5'8", 165-pound sophomore takes the clock to 90 seconds to go here in this first half. And Wahoo leading it 47-0. to This is a good, good game here for Wahoo because now 
it likely allows your starters to rest going into the first week of the postseason next week. Pass out into the flat and tripping and stumbling out of bounds was the wide receiver here on the near side, and that is Guerrero, number 91 on the reception. These Skyler Warriors are fascinating in who's getting the football. We've had a number 50 touch the football. Number 91 has now caught a pass. And that was a good catch that time and run, that time of about five yards. It's third and six for Skyler with the ball on their own 36-yard line with 42 seconds to go in the quarter. This might be the final play of the quarter here. Maiz takes the high snap looking to throw and does, and it's incomplete as he would throw it across the middle of the field to Rico Rodriguez. It goes incomplete, and that stops the clock with 30 seconds and fourth down for Skyler. And the way they're acting, they might just go ahead and leave their offense out there. We'll see. Only 30 seconds to go in the half. Kind of appears that way, wouldn't you say, Blake? They might take a timeout. I don't it's interesting. Can't tell right now. 47 to zero, Wahoo leads it. Wahoo hasn't sent anybody back to receive a punt. And now here comes Skyler out to snap it. On fourth down they do. Maiz will run it himself and go nowhere. A loss of two yards back to the 35 yard line off of a nice tackle made in the backfield by Luke Specht. He makes the tackle for or Jake Scanlon. Sorry, that's 53, not 58. Jake Scanlon makes the tackle for Wahoo. And so the Warriors force a turnover on downs. And with 23 seconds to go in the half, Wahoo leads it 47 to 0 and has it first and 10 on the Skyler 35 yard line. And I'm willing to bet, I would guess that Wahoo likely takes a knee and goes into the halftime locker room. And that is what they will do. Kaminsky stands at the Skyler 40, takes one step forward, drops down to a knee, and that is the end of quarter number two. Well, after 24 minutes of football, it's your Wahoo Warriors running away with it as they lead Skyler 47 to zero. Thanks everyone for tuning in to Wahoo Warrior Football on Saunders County Online. And we will thank our sponsors and thank you for all watching as it halftime is here. It's Wahoo 47, Skyler 0. You're tuned into Wahoo Warrior Football in Saunders County Online, and we will be right back. Rivalry Apparel in Wahoo is excited to celebrate their fifth anniversary the month of October. Stop in to say hi to the Rivalry team or go to RivalryApparel.com now to get your gear for fall sports. Then be on the lookout for winter sports apparel for your favorite local teams and schools. Rivalry is open Tuesdays, Thursdays 10 to 6, Wednesdays, Fridays 10 to 5, Saturdays 9 to noon. Call 402-870-0780 for any questions. The team at Rivalry Apparel wants to help you have a winning season. We are your biggest fan. South Haven Living Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out online, southhaven-wahoo.com. Stop at First Bank of Nebraska to get our new Wahoo Warrior branded debit card. Every transaction gives back to Wahoo Public Schools. All you need is a First Bank of Nebraska checking account and ask for the Warrior card. For more information, go to firstbanke.com. First Bank of Nebraska, serving our communities, investing in you. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Wahoo State Bank gives you the home team advantage. From the beginning of your financial experience with Penny Partners, Kids Club with Richie Rover, to student checking for those age 15 through 25, offering a variety of benefits that make banking easy when you're home or away, or if you're looking to finance the future home. Wahoo State Bank has the home team to work with you through life. Member FDIC. 
Hot Oil and Propane is continuing to be family-run and owned for 60 years. OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at OOPIncWahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years, thanks to you. At Anchor Insurance, we know your personal life and business needs the right management and insurance to succeed and grow. Give Eric E.J. Hancock a call at 402-858-0557 or stop into his office at 136 East 5th Street in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska today for all of your insurance needs. The best deal in town is at the Wahoo DQ. Our $7 meal deals run all day, every day. For only $7, you get your choice of an original cheeseburger or a three-piece chicken strip basket. Each option includes a regular order of fries, a medium drink, and a small sundae. Feeling hungrier? Upgrade that Sunday to a small blizzard for an extra $2. The Wahoo DQ is located at 1122 North Chestnut Street and open 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Sunday through Thursday. And then on Fridays and Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Rivalry Apparel in Wahoo is excited to celebrate their 5th anniversary the month of October. Stop in to say hi to the Rivalry team or go to RivalryApparel.com now to get your gear for fall sports. Then be on the lookout for winter sports apparel for your favorite local teams and schools. Rivalry is open Tuesdays, Thursdays 10 to 6, Wednesdays, Fridays 10 to 5, Saturdays 9 to noon. Call 402-870-0780 for any questions. The team at Rivalry Apparel wants to help you have a winning season. We are your biggest fan. South Haven Living Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out online, southhaven-wahoo.com. Stop at First Bank of Nebraska to get our new Wahoo Warrior branded debit card. Every transaction gives back to Wahoo Public Schools. All you need is a First Bank of Nebraska checking account and ask for the Warrior card. For more information, go to firstbanknne.com. First Bank of Nebraska, serving our communities, investing in you. Member FDIC and equal housing lender. Wahoo State Bank gives you the home team advantage. From the beginning of your financial experience with Penny Partners, Kids Club with Richie Rover, to student checking for those... Hot Oil and Propane is continuing to be family-run and owned for 60 years. OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at OOPIncWahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years, thanks to you. At Anchor Insurance, we know your personal life and business needs the right management and insurance to succeed and grow. Give Eric E.J. Hancock a call at 402-858-0557 or stop into his office at 136 East 5th Street in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska today for all of your insurance needs.
The best deal in town is at the Wahoo DQ. Our $7 meal deals run all day, every day. For only $7, you get your choice of an original cheeseburger or a three-piece chicken strip basket. Each option includes a regular order of fries, a medium drink, and a small sundae. Feeling hungrier? Upgrade that Sunday to a small blizzard for an extra $2. The Wahoo DQ is located at 1122 North Chestnut Street and open 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Sunday through Thursday. And then on Fridays and Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Rivalry Apparel in Wahoo is excited to celebrate their fifth anniversary the month of October. Stop in to say hi to the Rivalry team or go to RivalryApparel.com now to get your gear for fall sports. Then be on the lookout for winter sports apparel for your favorite local teams and schools. Rivalry is open Tuesdays, Thursdays 10 to 6, Wednesdays, Fridays 10 to 5, Saturdays 9 to noon. Call 402-870-0780 for any questions. The team at Rivalry Apparel wants to help you have a winning season. We are your biggest fan. South Haven Living Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out online, southhaven-wahoo.com. Stop at First Bank of Nebraska to get our new Wahoo Warrior branded debit card. Every transaction gives back to Wahoo Public Schools. All you need is a First Bank of Nebraska checking account and ask for the Warrior card. For more information, go to firstbankne.com. First Bank of Nebraska, serving our communities, investing in you. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Wahoo State Bank gives you the home team advantage. From the beginning of your financial experience with Penny Partners, Kids Club with Richie Rover, to student checking for those age 15 through 25, offering a variety of benefits that make banking easy when you're home or away, or if you're looking to finance the future home. Wahoo State Bank has the home team to work with you through life. Member FDIC. 
Hot Oil and Propane is continuing to be family-run and owned for 60 years. OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at OOPIncWahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years, thanks to you. At Anchor Insurance, we know your personal life and business needs the right management and insurance to succeed and grow. Give Eric E.J. Hancock a call at 402-858-0557 or stop into his office at 136 East 5th Street in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska today for all of your insurance needs. The best deal in town is at the Wahoo DQ. Our $7 meal deals run all day, every day. For only $7, you get your choice of an original cheeseburger or a three-piece chicken strip basket. Each option includes a regular order of fries, a medium drink, and a small sundae. Feeling hungrier? Upgrade that Sunday to a small blizzard for an extra $2. The Wahoo DQ is located at 1122 North Chestnut Street and open 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Sunday through Thursday. And then on Fridays and Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And welcome back to Wahoo Warrior Football on Saunders County Online. Austin McNorton and Blake Maxson here with you as we get ready to go in quarter number three, getting set to kick off. It's Wahoo four and Skyler zero, as you can see there on your scoreboard. Wahoo has scored in every way you can imagine. 
Other than defense. The defense is the only team who hasn't scored, but they have forced their fair share of turnovers. They've gotten a couple fumble recoveries and an interception in that first half. Caden, or, uh, Caden Smart had a punt return for a touchdown, and the Warriors have had a couple passing touchdowns, several different rushing touchdowns from several different guys. And here we go, start of the second half. And a running clock as Wahoo leads it 47-0 here in the final game of the regular season. Wahoo will kick it off right to left, and it will go into the end zone. As Wahoo once again comes out in their road, white pants, white jerseys, blue numbers with gold trim and blue helmets. Skyler comes out in their home green jerseys, white numbers, black pants, green helmets, and a white face mask. I got to say, Blake, their color scheme and their helmets especially might be my favorite I've seen all year. Oh, yeah, they're all the all white and then with the blue helmets. I love I love Skyler's face mask and, and helmet with the white face mask. I think that looks really crisp. Help, help match the white number too. Yeah, yeah, it's a pink out night here in Skyler. So you see some pink socks and gloves out there too. But here we go, first play of quarter number three. It's Wahoo 47, Skyler zero. And quarterback Daniel Maiz comes out in the backfield with his tailback, Escobar, standing to his left. Awaits the snap, has it. Now Escobar gets the handoff off to the near side here. Has a block and a lane. The biggest run as he's just shy of the 30 after a gain of about seven yards on first down. That is the best run that they have had all night on the ground. And it comes on first down, a gain of seven up to the 27. 11.35 to go, quarter number three. It's Wahoo 47, Skyler 0. Opening drive here of the second half for the Warriors. Warrior on Warrior here on this Friday night. Skyler with the football. Maiz comes under center this time. Daniel takes the snap, fakes the handoff. Oh, he He did hand it off. Oh, my gosh. That was on the carry that time. It was Marquez, and he got absolutely crushed in the backfield by, Jake, by Jack Krieger. A loss of two, and it will be third and five. Now back, or third and six, thir yeah, third and four on the Skyler 26-yard line. So a loss of two that time instead of three. It's third and four with 10.50 to go here in the third quarter. Maiz in the backfield, takes the snap, throws it to the sideline, and it's incomplete in and out of the hands of his wide receiver Rico Rodriguez and after a promising set the Skyler Warriors lose a couple of yards and throw an incomplete pass and we'll have to punt it away the clock running with the running clock I actually kind of forgot about it there for a second I was like wait a minute was it incomplete it was it's just a running clock so we'll keep you updated as best as we can on that as this second half will go by really quickly low snap good punt it will be taking a bounce at about the 50-yard line, and Wahoo will let it roll as their closest warrior to it was Logan Lake as he watches it roll and watches the clock run. As Wahoo now will see Blake what the Warriors decide to do if they will bring out their starters at all here for the second half offensively or they will bring out their entire second unit out there. And it is the second unit. So that means it's time for quarterback number nine, Alex Borchers, the six foot one, 165 pound junior, to lead the helm for Wahoo with 9.35 to go in quarter number three. It's first and 10 Warriors. Hand off to the far side of the field and taken back to the line of scrimmage. And that's really about it on the carry that time for Wahoo was number 28, Grady Meyer on the carry. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, so no gain. 9.15 to go here with a running clock. Quarter number three, it's Wahoo 47, Skyler zero. The Warriors have pretty much dominated from the opening kickoff of this game. Their opening drive, they went 80 yards down the field in seven plays. They got the football back on the Skyler 35-yard line. Two plays later, they're in the end zone. They had a punt return. They had a deep pass of 44. They had a 44-yard run. They had a 20, you know, you name it, 26-yard pass. And here it's handed off here to the near side and taking it upfield and rolling forward to about the 40 or the 49 yard line of Skyler. That time was Grady Meyer again. Again, that time of about three, three and a half. Because they actually spotted him down right to 50. He looked to me like he rolled on top of the Skyler defender. The officials say he touched the grass first. So 8.25 to go here in the third quarter. Wahoo 47, Skyler zero. It's third and seven for Wahoo. Ball on the 50. 
in between the hashes. This is the second unit out there for Wahoo, which means it's Alex Borchers at the quarterback spot. Alex sends Landon Fye in motion. He's had a good night. He has a touchdown reception, and it's a double handoff here to the near side. Harrison Krieger has a lane, 45, near a first down. We'll see where the official said he stepped out. He gets a first down barely, a yard past it, as he took it up to the Skyler 42-yard line. Harrison Krieger, his first run of the night, and it's a Warrior first down. 7.43 to go here in the third quarter. This is the first drive of the second half for Wahoo, and it's the second unit out there. with Alex Borchers, Grady Meyer, Harrison Krieger all out there. Borchers in the backfield. Krieger standing to his left. Alex has it. It's actually Meyer getting the handoff up the middle, and he breaks free. A couple of tackles up near the 30 to the 31, which should be good enough for another Warrior first down, and it is a gain of 11 yards that time for Gray's ground game continues to be extremely effective here with 7.05 to go in the third quarter. And Blake, how, a, how much of a luxury is this right now for Wahoo to say, hey, we can rust our entire starting unit. Not risk an injury in the second half and be able to, you know, just trust the second team and just hold the lead and you'll be fine. Handoff goes here to the near side, juking out of a couple of tackles and taking it up to about the 27-yard line. That time on the carry for Wahoo was, again, Grady Meyer. He's getting a lot of the load here in the second half. The 5'11", 145-pound sophomore. He'll be pretty special to watch here in a couple of years. Gain of about two up to the 28-yard line. And so let's say about two and a half, 6'17 to go third quarter. First drive of the second half for Wahoo after Skyler took the opening drive and went three and out. Wahoo has not given up a point in the third quarter all year. They have outscored their opponents 62 to zero in third quarters this season. Borchers drops back and throws nearly a nice defensive play made there by Giovanni Martinez. The pass was intended for Harrison Krieger. Martinez batted it down. Almost had a chance at an interception. Tipped it down to the grass and with 5.37 to go in a running clock, Wahoo will have another third and long. It's third and eight for Wahoo with the ball on the Skyler 28 yard line. Ball placed on the left hash. Krieger goes out to the right. Meyer stands to the left of Alex Borchers in the gun. Alex Borchers move it, moves Meyer to the right. Krieger to the left. Meyer will get the handoff up the middle, but a whistle beforehand. And that will stop the clock as it's a false start against Wahoo. And that will stop the clock with 5.10 to go here in the third quarter. Clock stops for penalties and touchdown. That is just the second. Correct me if I'm wrong, Blake. That's just the second pissed half in the second quarter and a false start here. That's. Skyler hasn't had a penalty against them all night. Wahoo has only had two penalties against them. It is now third and 13, though, for Wahoo. And Meyer gets the handoff up the middle. Big hole for Meyer. Following blockers downfield near the 20. Should be close to a first down. Right at the 20-yard line, it is. He needed 13. He got 13 and a half, and the drive continues for Wahoo off of another good run from Grady Meyer. Tackle made by number 71. The tackle was made by Skyler's Chris Ardeneo. 4-12 to go here. Quarter number three. Wahoo 47, Skyler zero. Now the second unit for Wahoo in the red zone for the first time tonight. First drive of the third quarter here for Wahoo. Borchers in the backfield, takes the snap, hands it off to Meyer, who's kind of patient, and falls forward to about the 18. Trying to decide where he wanted it to go, if he wanted to bounce it outside or cut it up the middle. He cuts it up the middle for a gain of about two to the Skyler eight, an incredibly quick third quarter, like we expected it to be here in this running clock second half. Wahoo getting the play from the sideline, bringing in a couple of different guys. It will be second and eight for Wahoo on the Skyler 18 in between the hashes. Wahoo going right to left here on this opening drive of the third quarter, leading it 47 to zero. 
Two wide receivers to the far side. Meyer stands to the right of Borchers in the gun. Alex takes the snap, rolls out to his right, and will throw, and it's caught inside of the 15. For a Wahoo force down inside of the 10 was Landon Fye again. He's had a great night as he takes it inside of the 10. And a Wahoo first down and now a first and great tonight. He's had a, a big run. He has a touchdown catch tonight. He had the first touchdown of the game. 2.35 to go here in the third quarter. Handoff. Meyer bounces it here to the near side. Fighting forward inside of the 5 to the goal line. He's cut down at about the 2. As he tried to get in, good tackle made by Skyler just shy of the end zone. 2.18 to go here. I'll keep you updated on that clock as fast as I can as this will go quickly. 2.12 to go here, quarter number three. Wahoo 47, Skyler zero. It's second and goal for Wahoo on the Skyler three-yard line. Wahoo breaks the huddle with a wide receiver going to either side. Borchers in the backfield with Grady Meyer standing to his right. Harrison Krieger off to the left. Borchers gets the snap, fakes it, rolls out to his right and looking to run. Oh, he had a touchdown but slipped. That devil turf monster trips up Alex Borchers for a loss of about three back to the six yard line. And Blake, he would have scored. No one was in front of him off to that line. Nope, easy touchdown, just slipped in the grass. That devil turf monster strikes again. 125 to go here in the third quarter. It's now third and goal for Wahoo on the Skyler five-yard line. This is the first time tonight the Wahoo has had a third and goal situation. <coughs> Excuse me, two wide receivers to the near side. Meyer to the left of Borchers in the backfield. Alex takes the direct snap and is blown up in the backfield. What an incredible tackle made immediately behind that time by Jason Ramon. A loss that time for Wahoo of about two. It will be fourth two with 50 seconds to go in the quarter as it's taken back to about the seven yard line. Well, make it the seven and a half. So it's fourth and goal for Wahoo with 35 seconds to go in the third quarter. Borchers in the backfield. Meyer stands to his left. Borchers takes a snap, has time to throw, and does. Towards the end zone, it's caught. Touchdown, Warriors. Harrison Krieger makes the touchdown catch in the end zone, and the second team unit for Wahoo is in the end zone with a big-time drive of their own and capitalizing on fourth and goal from the eight-yard line. Even with a little bit of adversity, and that's really the first adversity that Wahoo has faced here in this game. Wahoo capitalizes on fourth and goal with an eight-yard touchdown pass from the second-team quarterback, Alex Borchers, to the sophomore Harrison Krieger. And here comes out the point after attempt from number 65, Noah Phelps. It's on the way, and it is good. Noah Phelps puts the point after up and good. And with 25 seconds to go in quarter number three, it's Wahoo 54, Skyler 0. You're tuned in to Warrior Football in Saunders County Online, and we will be right back. Rivalry Apparel in Wahoo is excited to celebrate their fifth anniversary the month of October. Stop in to say hi to the Rivalry team or go to RivalryApparel.com now to get your gear for fall sports. Then be on the lookout for winter sports apparel for your favorite local teams and schools. Rivalry is open Tuesdays, Thursdays, 10 to 6, Wednesdays, Fridays, 10 to 5, Saturdays, Days 9 to noon. Call 402-870-0780 for any questions. The team at Rivalry Apparel wants to help you have a winning season. We are your biggest fan. Austin McNorton and Blake Maxson here back with you on Saunders County Online for Wahoo Warrior Football on the final Friday night of the regular season. Your number one Wahoo Warriors lead the other Warriors of Skyler with 25 seconds to go in a running clock second half. 25 seconds to go in the third quarter. It's Wahoo 54, Skyler is zero. And the second team quarterback, Alex Borcher, touchdown pass to his sophomore running back, Harrison Krieger. And the Warriors will kick it away. Ball caught at about the far five yard line and hit immediately at about the 25 yard line on the return that time for Skyler was Matthew Gibbons. 
and that will be the final play of the third quarter. After three quarters of football, it's Wahoo 54, Skyler 0. You're tuned in to Wahoo Warrior Football on Saunders County Online, and we will be right back. South Haven Living Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out online, southhaven-wahoo.com. Stop at First Bank of Nebraska to get our new Wahoo Warrior branded debit card. Every transaction gives back to Wahoo Public Schools. All you need is a First Bank of Nebraska checking account and ask for the Warrior card. For more information, go to firstbanke.com. First Bank of Nebraska, serving our communities, investing in you. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Wahoo State Bank gives you the home team advantage. From the beginning of your financial experience with Penny Partners, Kids Club with Richie Rover, to student checking for those age 15 through 25, offering a variety of benefits that make banking easy when you're home or away, or if you're looking to finance the future home. Wahoo State Bank has the home team to work with you through life. Member FDIC. Austin McNorton and Blake Maxson here back with you on Saunders County Online. One for tuning in here on the final Friday. Like, wait a minute, the fourth quarter's already begun? Yes, it has. It's a running clock as Wahoo leads the Warriors of Skyler 54-0. So Skyler now going right to left. This is their second drive of the second half. They are now going right to left across your screen as Wahoo scored on their first drive of the second half with their second unit and Alex Borchers with an eight-yard touchdown pass. As this ball was pitched up to the running back, Kelvin Escobar, he runs forward and now the clock will stop. And I think a penalty going against Wahoo, maybe, I didn't see what the penalty was. Did you, Blake? I believe it was a face. If so, it wasn't a big penalty five-yard penalty so I don't I don't know what that could have been because yeah like that's what I saw too because it looked like the tackle was around the helmet but I don't know what the penalty could have been it's a, only a five-yard penalty and so it is second down second and five for Skyler with the ball on their own 32-yard line and the ball is handed up the middle this time and fighting for it up near the 35-yard line. It looks like he'll be maybe about a half-yard shy. Oh, no, they're going to go ahead and give him the first down. Skyler, that's their fourth first down of the night. Wahoo leading it 54-0 with 10-23 to go here in quarter number four. First and 10, Skyler with the ball on their own 30-yard line, 35-yard line, I should say. In between the hashes, it is quarterback Luis Ginchy out there now with two wide receivers to the far side and two to the near side. He's empty in the gun. 